Because he did look like he wanted to attack his opponent, then again, it actually should help Branch because he is definitely not ready to assault this kind of force. So Momar is moving somewhere. Well, I do see a single dropship doing some stuff, and actually, there is a war prism, a sneaky ninja war prism that has actually just turned on. It is gonna create freezers that are gonna make their way right into the mineral line and try to deal some damage. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. And they are indeed doing quite a nice bit of damage. Chargers are very effective against those SMEs. They are still not being pulled away. And as I can see, there is a little bit of um, lack of micro frame rate. He should have made those zealots attack the SCVs, but he didn't. He could have killed way more of them, but still, it was very successful. While another pylon goes down. I did not see that one. I did hear some stuff blowing up. Oh yeah, it was yet another drop of death, and it actually did manage to destroy a pylon that was powering this photon gun. Sorry guys, there's so much action in, in this game. Range upgrade for the Colossi is already researching more natural, let's call them, upgrades for the Protoss are also on their way, while only the first upgrade for the Terran is actually under research right now. So I need to drink some more water, sorry guys, but this Best of 5 series is really kicking me in. Throat. <laughs> so I need some more water. Sorry for a second. Oh, it actually seems like we are gonna see a big battle that never occurred, and four suits are successfully blocking the way. I do believe that a marine could, and maybe even more other, could walk right between them, but they would just be slaughtered one by one, and this is not something that Tars wants to happen, so he's just banking off being safe and so. So, as you can see, he is being very aggressive on all lines, he is harassing in every single possible location, he even forced his opponent to go for the blink tech, which I can believe and imagine to be very successful in excuse me, fighting those dropships, and even more tech going from... Oh, excuse me, it's, it's like I just ate something, but I didn't, that's very strange. So, even more upgrades that are actually almost finished, uh, tier 2 upgrades for the Protoss, but as you can see, another Death Force is marching right into Ranger's newest expansion, and it is tearing apart those Zealot defense uh, defenders, but as you can see, now they are cornered between a sandwich and the hammer, and wow, they are just being toasted alive! Wow, this is a tasty toast, it might not be as tasty as... <sighs> Gorilla cheese snack sandwich, but still it was probably pretty pretty tasty pretty tasty sandwich with a hammer So as we all know I like bubbling a lot without any actual sense of what I'm stalking But even more upgrades coming from for the Protoss while as you can see Tarzan is only getting his first upgrade for the mechanical units Which he does have a lot of wow, so as you can see Tarzan is sending a bigger and bigger and bigger armies to attack his opponent, harass him on all lines, making him feel uncomfortable, while well, he still has a very big army just sitting in his natural, being ready to assault when it is the time. So as you can see, another big drop of death is coming, it is going to tear this place apart in a matter of seconds, unless something strange happens, and this might not be the case. As this is a superior amount of marines and marauders, they are going to be able to destroy this uh, Protoss force, I believe. Ooh, it's read. I have really a feeling like I just ate a really old hot dog for no reason, that's bad. So, oh well, as you can see, Rage still tries to defend, he's sending his f um, biggest army to defend, but as you can see, Tarzan is simply going to safely back off, but as you can see, Blink is already researched and it did allow to take out one of the medevacs, which may be not enough, as another drop is on its way, and this Nexus has been cancelled for obvious reasons, while this drop is gonna get right inside, yet another range space, wow, this is the exact thing you have to do to not allow the Colossi to be overpowered, this is what I'm talking about, this is why I do not really believe that Colossi are overpowered, but as a Terran player, you are supposed to do the stuff that Tarzan is doing and just crush your opponent by 
making the small drops of the drops of death while still having a superior army in the background with a lot of Vikings that will just be able to one hit kill those classes sooner or later. So as I can see, range that are simply unable to take to the level he wants to be at. He just cannot get any more closer. He just has to spend all his money on stuff like. Stalkers, Immortals, things like that to survive those death drops. He already lost his... Uh, <laughs> wow, Cybernetic Scholar. I did not even see that one, but there was indeed yet another drop. Wow. Actually, he did not lose his Cybernetic Scholar. He's getting a second one. Oh, that's strange. That's very strange indeed. But apparently he's just afraid that he's gonna lose this. But oh well, as you can see, free free upgrades for the Protoss army. This is very big. This might actually give him a critical advantage if those armies are to fight each other. But this is actually the best moment. I don't know if this is the best moment to match for Tassim, but he definitely it does look like he has an advantage. Oh wait a minute, army. Well, it's difficult to tell, but I do believe that Tassim has an advantage right now. Then again, with those free free upgrades and such a reliably big army that Range has right now, it actually might be pretty even and there is even a chance that, that the Protoss will win this match. It all depends from the tank micro that Tarzan is going to show us and we all hope that he is going to show us some beautiful micro. Unfortunately, he is also going for the Mobius reactor which means that he wants to have those ghosts. Which I hate. As you all know, I am a big ghost hater because it's the ghost that made me not play for half a year. And that actually, those ghosts seem to be a pretty good idea because the Templar archives are on the way. We're gonna see some. That's right, I already forgot you cannot have an insta psy storm because there's. In a most stupid nerf possible, the amulet has been taken away from the Protoss and as you can see those colors are being beaten by those Vikings that just try to get in range but those Stalkers are already doing a great job in kicking the bay. Now going back into the Templar, uh, Templar archives, I have for you 40 seconds to wait until the High Templars are actually useful except for feedback. Come on now, you could have nerfed the Psy Storm to be like in the first game to deal, to deal the same damage but less DPS. This would be awesome. Instead you remove the amulet, which is completely stupid. Come on now. But we're gonna see, maybe, just maybe Range is gonna prove me wrong. He already got his high templars and he actually might be able to use them. We're gonna see how it goes. So as you can see, it looks like those armies are actually gonna march together in an epic, epic explosion full fight. But as you can see, this is the position that uh, that range definitely does not want to be in. His immortals got hammered by this huge amount of sea tanks. They can just one hit kill even the immortals. That's how powerful they are. And ghosts are on the way. They're also going to make those immortals completely ineffective, as their shields will have no impact whatsoever in this battle against those sea tanks. And uh, this will be just a slaughter. Sprotos will not stand a chance. I can already guess that this is going to be a GG unless these guys are going to have enough psionic energy for a Psy Storm. And it does look like they have, so this would actually change everything. They do have the Psy Storm charged up, and this will, might be something very entertaining. As you can see, the, wow, this is a very bad timing for him to pop his uh, siege tanks down. As you can see, wow, actually, this is very bad for Wrench. All of his. Uh, <laughs> All his high tempers do not have the mana for anything, the psi energy for any storm or sword server. That just shows you how hard MP counters those high tempers. They did feed back the ghost, but and killed one of them. But still, entire arm, entire high templar army from range has been hammered down. And yeah, as I said, Protoss do not stand a chance. This is a slaughter, even without a one big giant battle. As you can see, Terran Gorilla style owning their opponents and they're just backing up, backing and backing up again. And this is the end of this fairy tale of a protest that could actually train to win this game. As you can see, Tarzan did this uh, play absolutely right with his siege tanks, his ghosts, his vikings. There was, he did not even give his opponent a chance to win this game. There was three notches. The first side stone is going down though, but it is not going to be too successful whatsoever. And yeah, it is just to try and deal some honorable damage to his opponent. But this is indeed a good game. So, 
French test base are falling apart in every single location on the map. Colossi are not even able to fire. And this is it, this is the end. Those zealots are just standing here saluting to the enemies that actually managed to defeat them. They're probably going to make their last charge upon their enemies just to show how awesome they are. As soon as uh, those web gets recharged, this is going to be the last stand for the Protoss, but they are not going to succeed. There we are, those zealots trying to march their way into the open tanks and they all died before doing any damage whatsoever and there is the GG. Wow, that was a beautiful game. I mean, I'm a Protoss player. It really hurts me to see the Protoss army losing so bad. Especially because I hear so many people raging about how close they are. But, well, it was still very enjoyable to watch, I must admit. And one more thing, my friend was also talking... Yeah, the noob, the, the gay noob I usually talk about. He was also talking about feedback being so powerful against Ghost. Well... It of of course it is very powerful against ghosts, but have you ever tried hitting a ghost in a big biomass? It takes a really big pro to actually snipe the ghost with a feedback in such a big armies without losing your entire energy to MP. Just saying that it is very hard. Then again, that was a very enjoyable game. Game number three, so far it is 2-1 for Tarsen, and we will see you guys in another match. So be sure to stay with me.